Welcome to Things and Stuff. Today we're going to talk about numbers and specifically the history of the number system. Today we count using the decimal system which is a base 10 system. We have 10 fingers so it seems fairly simple but things weren't always that simple. The very first number system ever to be invented was invented in Sumeria which is in Mesopotamia which is now southern Iraq and their number system wasn't base 10 but base 60. They invented what's called the first known place value system, which means that the digit itself is important, but also the place where the digit is put is important. For instance, in the number 21, the number 1 simply means 1 because it's placed at the beginning, but the number 2 means 20 because it's placed second. It's a place value system. The Sumerians started to develop numbers 4,000 years ago, the Sumerians only had two digits to work with and didn't have the concept of zero. They had a digit that looked a little bit like a Y and it was the equivalent to one. It could also represent 60 if it was in the second place in the number or 3600 if it was in the third place in the number. Their other digit represented 10 and looked a little bit like a sideways V and it represented 10 if it was in the first place in the number or 600 if it was in the second place. I'll show you a few examples of some Sumerian style numbers so you can get your head around the idea. Sixty is an interesting number because it's the smallest number that can be divided by one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's actually a very good number to work with if you want to do base fractions. And the Sumerians actually invented many different areas of mathematics and were quite interested in number theory. They could both multiply and divide, which a lot of early number systems simply didn't allow for. The Sumerian civilization lasted until around 2000 BC, after which the Babylonians took over, almost directly taking all of their knowledge as well. They developed their astrological system too, and even today, some 4,000 years after the Sumerians disappeared, we can still see their base 60 number system at work. For instance, there are 360 degrees in a circle. There are also 60 seconds in a minute, which is again a fold over from the base 60 system, and again related to the fact that they were very interested in astrology, which was an important part of their religion. The Sumerians and Babylonians knew about five planets, they knew about Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Mercury and Saturn. They also knew about the Sun and the Moon and all of these planets were allocated deities. Their priests studied the movement of the stars. The Sumerians called themselves the black-headed people and lived in the land of the civilized lords. Their culture begins around 5000 BC as they moved down from northern Iraq. They were very good farmers and used a lot of irrigation they traded far and wide, including the Mediterranean. Until 3000 BC, they were formed up of a series of city-states, each ruled by a priest-king and each ruled over by a specific deity. You might recognize some of the Sumerians' deities. People like Enki, Nana, who was their moon god, Inanna, Enlil, and Utu, who was their sun god. You might also recognize the name Gilgamesh, who was a Sumerian king. The Sumerians almost certainly invented the wheel around 4000 or 5000 BC. They also had a writing system with pictographs around 3100 BC and a syllabic system around 2600 BC. So what about base 10 numbers? Where did they come from? Well, they have been around a long time as well. In places like Iran, Egypt, China and India, you can see base systems used as far back as 3500 BC, but they weren't developed very much. The first real base 10 decimal systems that could be used for proper mathematics and had a proper number theory behind them appeared around 500 BC and they came from the Sanskrit systems and also from Greece. The Jews also developed a base 10 system around 100 BC. Both of these Greek and Jewish systems were based around the alphabet where each number represented a letter. Have a look. The Jews believed that the world was created from these letters and numbers by God.
Thanks for watching Things and Stuff, and we'll be back soon. Please do let us know if there's any topics you'd like us to cover, otherwise we're just going to scattershot around picking whatever comes up.